all for pets here at Live in the D, and we invite the vet from our sponsors, the Michigan Humane Society, to come on the show and answer your questions about their pets. We want to welcome back Dr. Lara Silvari. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Great to have you, doctor. <laughs> so we've, let's get straight into our first question. Okay. Okay, this is from Cassie, okay. and this is her cat, Jacob. So he's almost four and has gotten into the habit of finding anything plastic and chewing on it. So why is he doing this? So cats, you never know. Okay. <laughs> that was because when I read this yeah. question, I was like, this can't be good. Yeah, so it, it, it really isn't. It's actually very dangerous, but it's a very common thing. So cats can go anywhere and they like to chew on things they shouldn't, plastic, hair ties, you know, anything they can find. Mm -hmm. um, so it is very common, but it also is very dangerous. Okay. So it is something that if he did continue to eat plastic and, um, you know, he can have a, a foreign buddy, which, mm -hmm. which means it gets stuck in his intestines. Mm -hmm. And usually surgery is needed to remove those things. So, so we definitely don't want the cat chewing on anything no. plastic. <laughs> and should they see a vet to find out why Jacob is doing um, that? It's always a good idea to follow up with your vet to make sure there isn't something going on. Like okay. if, you know, because sometimes they do, you know, weird habits, especially if it just came up. Mm. Um, you know, sometimes it's boredom though too. Ah. Um, so you just have to follow up with your vet to make sure there isn't a medical cause for it. Okay. And then you can, you know, kind of make sure that you uh, Jacob proof your house. Yeah, Jacob proof. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our next question is from Patty and she says that her four year old dog Coda is experiencing itchy skin. So is there anything yeah. that she can do to help Coda maybe in the diet or something to put on her fur? So there's always, um, you know, some things that you can do is fish oil for skin. Mm. Um, it probably won't get rid of, rid of the itching, but if it's dry, sometimes that can help. And you can always talk to your vet about a dose for that because mm -hmm. um, it is dose dependent. Um, but as far as itching, a lot of times um, what we find is it's from fleas. Oh. So even if you don't see them, it's always good, you know, a good reminder to keep your pets on flea prevention all year round, mm -hmm. even in the winter. Um, and so it's something that you definitely need to follow up with your vet about the itching, mm -hmm. especially if it's new, because there's okay. so many causes for it. All right, good to know about the flea prevention yes. all year round, because yes. I know a lot of dog owners who get kind of comfortable in the winter. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, we're good, but maybe yeah. not. No. All right, so our <laughs> final question is from Shirley, and she says that when she, we got the big snow this month, her dog wouldn't go to the bathroom when let out of the house. So he's 14, deaf, and has three legs. So what should she do? Um, so some things she could do are get a cute little jacket or sweater to put on him to help, you know, make sure that he doesn't get cold outside. Um, it, you always have to be careful when letting your pets outside, especially during the winter. Um, if it's snowed, you can dig a little path for them to go there. Um, but something she could do as well is take him outside, have her go with him as hard as that will be when it's okay. cold, yeah. and then give him a treat when he goes outside, goes to the bathroom outside. So kind of positive reinforcement training for him. Mm -hmm. um, and then last resort would be, you know, if he refuses to go outside in the winter is they do have pee pads mm. for dogs. I know it's not ideal, but if that would be a last resort. Yeah, the wee wee pad is never anything fun to clean up. No, but it's gotta, not, yeah. but it's better than the carpet sometimes. I agree, <laughs> that's very true. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. All right, the Michigan Humane Society has veterinary care services at their locations in Westland, Rochester Hills, and Detroit. To learn more about the services they offer and to make an appointment, visit their website, michiganhumane.org.